Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, I am going to tell you the difference between Adobe True HD and Adobe Atmos. Yes, they are not the same. They're two different things. Now, I know that the misconception that they are the same for the simple fact that when you play a certain content, they both display Adobe True HD and Adobe Atmos. On top of that, some of the HD AVRs, which is the 1080p 2K um, receivers, um, especially the high-end ones, they have high channels, but that is not standard. And for the UHD AVRs, which is the 4K Dolby Atmos receiver, their high channels for Dolby Atmos is standard. So when you're running Dolby True HD, um, they both can do the same thing on the, the HD receivers and the UHD. Now. Before I tell you the main differences uh, between those two format, why am I making this video in 2022 and why is it important? So the simple fact that um, they are still releasing movies that is on 4K disc with the audio track Adobe True HD. And um, recently I had to order Mission Impossible 3 online and to my surprise that was only in Dolby 2 HD which is fine Dolby 2 HD is good but the reason why it's important is because as far as um, Dolby Atmos I I do know that uh, that technology for Dolby Atmos it's here the it does what it says it does so Dolby Atmos also known as 3d surround or 4k audio it is actually doing the decode and you're getting that spatial uh, object-based sound for Dolby Atmos it's the atmospheric of it is immersive uh, and uh, on all depths but on the other flip side here, for the 4K resolution, it is not quite ready yet. It hasn't caught up to the 3D surround sound. It, not all of the 4K resolution technology, not all of it has arrived yet. So that is fine. And that's why I bring this up because it's fine that the 4K resolution, the technology is not there yet on the disc. Um, but I depend on the 3D spatial surround sound. That's why I don't like it, or that's why I'm bringing up this thing, this topic with the 4K disc in Dolby 2 HD. Now, why? Am I saying that the 4K disc is not really 4K resolution? It's because I do know that even though a movie may be shot in 6K, it has the capabilities of shooting at 6K or 8K or whatnot, but a lot of the CGs, they have to render it in 2K for the, uh, for the cost effectiveness, so it's not so expensive. Um, it's cheaper to render in 2k and then when you put in a 4k disc it will upconvert to 4k so that's te technically not true 4k it's not native and, and which is fun like i said it's all fine and dandy as long as i get my 3d surround sound so why am i buying a 4k disc if i'm not really getting the 3d surround sound right that being said um batman vs superman the ultimate edition they released that in 4k which is okay it's like partial 4K. And then they remastered it. Uh, Batman vs Superman. They remastered the 4K. That is actually. I don't know. I don't know if that's native 4K, but it's the best 4K disc I've ever seen. So if you haven't seen Batman vs Superman um, remastered in 4K, uh, when they re-released that, it that is what what 4k discs should look like all of them but they don't so that's why i do know that all the 4k discs 
it's not really really you're not really i mean obviously it depends on the kind of tv you have but um i do have the right gear to produce the sound and the visual quality and as far as 4k resolution goes for 4k discs uh it's not there it's not my opinion it's just not there and that's fine and dandy like i said but i need the the i need the audio to be there and that's why i'm gonna tell you the difference between dolby 2 hd and dolby atmos um so basically for uh dolby 2 hd which is your lossless surround audio sound for dolby atmos it is also lossless but it's the object based audio sound for the dolby 2 hd when you're watching a movie, although it's very immersive, Dolby Atmos will add to the immersiveness through its spatial sound. And for also, also for Dolby Atmos, it has 128 audio objects mixed in 3D sound field and can have up to 34 channels. Uh, of 3D surround sound. For Dolby 2 HD, you can enable the high channels, giving you that immersive Dolby Atmos audio, and can support up to eight channels off a Blu-ray disc, which basically is 7.1. Um, so most, a lot of people will believe that they are the same because when you're playing Atmos, on some display sources, it will say Dolby 2 HD and Dolby Atmos. But really, Atmos, the Atmos data on a 4K Blu-ray disc is actually an extension to True HD or Dolby 2 HD that is folded into the bitstream to maintain backwards compatibility. So what does that all really mean? It Actually, it means that when an Atmos soundtrack is played, the Atmos extension data will then be decoded by uh, an Atmos AVR or a pre-pro. But if your AVR preamp or processor is not compatible, the extension will then be bypassed to decode in regular Dolby True HD instead. And yes, they both are great formats, but Atmos is superior in regards to Dolby Laboratories Inc. And and another reason why I buy 4K disc um, is because that is how that is the true way you can get Dolby Atmos, right? You gotta have you gotta have the the Blu-ray player, the 4K Blu-ray player that supports Dolby Atmos or DTS X. You gotta have the 4K disc that supports Dolby Atmos. Um, and and of course, uh, for the 4K resolution, your your TV has to be, have that. And for your AVRs, it's gotta support that Dolby Atmos. And on top of that, HDMI. So pretty much to run true Dolby Atmos, you pretty much have to have all the gears in the bells and, bells and whistles to run that um, to get the true Dolby Atmos. And when you have that, it is amazing. And another reason, another point um, I want to bring up before another before I wrap this up is that I I I, I don't I still don't know why. I, I'm sure there's a reason why. If you guys know why, just put that in comments, please. But I don't really know why they can't. Uh, render Dolby Atmos for some of these movies that's on 4K disc because a lot of my other movies that's on Blu-ray like the, the regular Blu-ray disc for instance uh, Transformers Age of Extinction they had that has Dolby Atmos, tr Atmos track Suicide Squad the Blu-ray disc has Dolby Atmos track uh, Kevin Hart's Night School has DTSX uh, track on the Blu-ray uh, version of it um, so if a lot of the blu-ray discs uh, movies the regular blu-ray discs movies if they have the 3d um, 
sound, surround sound, I just don't understand why they can't have that for the uh, the 4K Blu-rays. But that is pretty much uh, it for this video. If you guys like this type of content, I pretty much talk about anything universal when it comes to uh, uh, home theater, audio surround sound, whatnot. Um, anything that has to do with sound. Um, please think. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like that kind of stuff. And I try to help you guys, um, give you guys some of my knowledge, um, so that you can optimize your uh, your home theater sound, um, even your gaming. So, thanks guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hit it, dragons out.